Russian assets frozen in the European Union could generate between 15 to 20 billion euros in after-tax profits by 2027, EU diplomatic chief Joseph Borrell has said. Of this, 3 billion euros a year could be used to finance arms deliveries to Ukraine and to develop Ukrainian defense industry. So after the discussion today, I've seen that there is a strong support. There are some member states that want to have more details. But there is, I think, a strong support to take the revenues, the windfall profits, and to use it to support Ukraine. How? Military, to increment the resources of the European Peace Facility, and also to support the development of the Ukrainian defense industry. According to Bloomberg News Agency, the proposal requires the support of all EU member states. In the meantime, Brussels has agreed that the interest from frozen Russian assets in the West will be used to help Ukraine. Polish foreign minister said this following a meeting of foreign ministers of EU member states. Personally, I would like to go further. I believe that the aggressor should pay for the consequences of its aggression. Since we already know that Russia will not receive this money until it pays reparations to Ukraine, it is better to spend it on preventing the consequences of aggression, on protecting Ukraine, not just on rebuilding it. Radoslav Sikorsky, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Poland. Ukraine plans to get access to revenues from frozen Russian assets as early as in 2024, Ukrainian Prime Minister Denis Mahal has said. Our goal and position is unambiguous. Access to all these assets. We are strengthening our legal position and preparing the necessary legal mechanisms. There is a clear plan of action. Denis Shmahal, Prime Minister of Ukraine on Telegram. Western countries have frozen Russian assets worth 300 billion euros. Almost 191 billion of them are in the Belgian depository Euroclear. On February 28, European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen urged the EU to start discussing the use of the revenues from frozen Russian assets to buy weapons for Ukraine. Meanwhile, the G7 countries are debating whether it is possible to confiscate the assets of the Russian central bank without undermining confidence in the international financial system. At the same time, According to British Foreign Secretary David Cameron, London is considering the possibility of providing Ukraine with a loan equal to the frozen assets of the Russian Central Bank in the United Kingdom. At the same time, the assets themselves should become a guarantee of Russia's payment of reparations to Ukraine. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Christina Dombrovska, UATV News.